Welcome back, it's me Lou, and I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review, and today we are putting the spotlight on this, WWE Universe Ultimate Warrior, the heroic champion of WWE Turnia. Awesome. So, I want to say, I think this is the second release of Ultimate Warrior, um, the first one might have been released in Wave 1 or Wave 2. I don't think there's... A, I can't remember any other, any other figures off the top of my head outside of Macho Man that saw two releases. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But I think only Ultimate Warrior and Macho Man... Oh, I take it back. Uh, there was... <laughs> Triple H had two figures. John Cena, I think, had two figures. Um, so, yeah, this is a Warrior's second figure. And, uh, I don't know, it looks... It looks cool... I don't know. There's something about I like so I'm unfamiliar with which uh costume this you know represents specifically. Uh for me Ultimate Warrior was always about the like the reds and the yellows, um the bright really bright bold colors. And this one's kind of like I don't know, I think the gray on the 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 chest strap is really throwing me off. It he's very he's looking very neutral and the white, I don't know. I'm not I'm not too sold on the white gear. But, you know, this is probably something he wore back in the day, and I just can't remember it off the top of my head. Alright, so let's take a look at this. Um, so yeah, we have the Ultimate Warrior. Uh, in terms of the package design, I've said this in the past, I'm not too keen on uh, the front of the package. I, I'm not a big fan of the color scheme. Um, I do like the throwback logo. I think that looks awesome, but I'm not too big on these weird pastel -y looking colors. I do like the back though. I love the little painted illustration that we get in the back. It's awesome that you give they give you the lineup of all the characters in the wave. And let's take a look at this. Okay, so load the spaceship with rocket fuel. All the fuses and the exit signs have been burnt out. There is no place to run. The power of the ultimate war will always prevail. Okay, so his illustration here looks, <laughs> which I just read the caption for. Of all the ones I've seen, this one makes the least sense to me. So what we have here, right? So if anyone knows the back story to this, you know, just let me know. But from what I gather here is that there's an escape pod here. And then you have Ultimate Warrior just bursting out of it. So I don't know how that, I don't know how an escape pod fits in terms of the, the Ultimate Warrior character. I don't know how an escape pod an escape pod fits in the world of you know WWE Turnia. It for some reason when I see this, it just reminds me of the end of like uh, Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith, where Yoda has to leave um, the planet Kashyyyk and he goes inside of that little pod and he flies away. Um, I don't know why Ultimate Warrior is jumping out of this <laughs> escape pod or what's going on, but the artwork's beautiful. I think it's, it's awesome. There's something about this version of the Ultimate Warrior. It, rem it, rem uh, it reminds me of the independent wrestler Warhorse, with the f with this style of ma face makeup, the black and the white. So if you're familiar with the indie wrestler Warhorse, I don't know. The, this the head kind of rem reminds me of him. So over here, in terms of his play features, you can move his ultimate harness, and then he could twist into all sorts of crazy positions. Um. And there's Goldberg in the line, Kane, Stephanie McMahon, and Warrior. So, so far in my previous videos, I've reviewed both Stephanie and Kane. I'm still on the hunt for Goldberg. I figure at some point in time, I might just have to cave in and just pay the marked up price online. I found this one in the wild. I was very fortunate. Uh, I live in a very competitive area. There's a lot of collectors. And I'm very fortunate that I get to hit up Walmarts kind of early in the morning sometimes. And uh, I got my paws on this baby <laughs> before anyone else did. And it's cool. I'm glad I got the second version of Warrior. Uh, personally, I was happy with the first release. I kind of would have preferred if they just gave us a, a new character altogether. Especially since this line's coming to a close soon. I think there's only might be one or two waves left before they finish it out. Uh, let's get this guy out of this little plastic prison. Okay. 
Okay, let's clean this off a little. All right, first impressions of the figure while it's still in the tray. All right, I'm starting to... All right, so at first, I wasn't too keen on this version of Ultimate Warrior, but to be honest, he's starting to like grow on me a little. Now, the color scheme for me, it's not the most iconic version of Ultimate Warrior. It's all right. So we have the figure here. All right, I'll say this right now. Uh, one thing I really do like about this action figure is this cape accessory. This is awesome. I like this a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here we have the comic book. Uh, this is a cool like um, throwback to the old 80s Masters of the Universe figures. Now this cover is such a tease because here we have Ultimate Warrior and he's riding this crazy looking like dinosaur. It's like half dinosaur, half robot. It's crazy looking. And then we have Jake the Snake Roberts, and he's riding a crazy dinosaur also. It has, like, robot arms. And then we have the, the fiend Bray Wyatt, who, as of this video, he's no longer with WWE. Yeah, it would have been awesome in this line if they gave us um, some animals, some proper steeds that these characters could ride. Like, with the Masters of the Universe figures, we have Panthor and we have um, Battle Cat. But they never gave us those for this line of figures. Alright, so over here we have a cool portrait of Warrior. Um, Ultimate Warrior, the heroic champion of WW Eternia. The great battle has begun. A darkness threatens to consume WW Eternia as the factions of evil superstars rise from parts unknown to control the balance of power. But the heroic superstars accept the challenge to defend the planet and determine who are the masters of the WWE universe. It says here that he stands at 6 feet 2 inches tall and he weighs 280 pounds. His superstar powers, super strength, super intensity fueled by the universal power connecting warriors throughout the galaxy. Foreign objects, the ultimate energy harness, and the cape of warriors. Over here we have Stephanie McMahon conspiring with Macho Man and then in comes the ultimate warrior and he looks like he's ready to throw down. And on the back, the rest of the characters in the wave. Cool stuff. So, uh, the figure itself. Alright, so... I'm, I'm kind of feeling a little bit mixed on this guy. Because he comes with this, like, you know, they call it the power harness. And it looks like some sort of, like, poor knockoff of, like, He-Man's um, chest armor. Um, and, you know, for the play feature, they kind of reveal that you can just remove it. So how that works is remove his head and then this comes off. Now one thing that now the reason why I'm, I'm feeling a little bit mixed about this is that all right, so you remove this and then you just leave him bare and then you're almost there. You almost have a normal looking wrestling action figure which I love, but then you come to the, the, the gauntlets and he still has those like fantasy armored bracers on his arms. And that it's like you're like this close from being like this a plain wrestling action figure, which I would have loved because you know this is very much the style of the old '80s Remco action figures. But yeah, I mean, I guess maybe if you could find um, another Masters of the Universe figure or, or WWE figure that had similar arms but with like wristbands instead of these armored gauntlets, you know, maybe you could do a 
arm swap, but at the same time, you have to make sure the flesh tones match. And for me, that's been one of the challenging things with this toy line is that they allow for part swapping. You know, you can, you can swap out the head. Let me take this off again. You can swap out the head. The arms come off. They detach at the waist. But the problem is that even though you go swap body parts is that most of the time, you know, these flesh tones are very specific to this character. So, you, you know, you can't necessarily swap this on another body because the head might not, the head might not match the torso. The arms might not match the face. You know, it's, it's kind of a mess. But yeah, I like the figure like this. He looks awesome. Um, I could kind of do away with this bootleg looking, you know, strap. And as you can see here, they kind of skimped out on the paint. Um, you know, they only painted the front. They didn't paint the side that you don't see, which is all right. But yeah, there's something about this looks very generic, you know, <laughs> compared to the He-Man one. This, on the other hand, is awesome. I'm really, really liking this cape a lot. I don't know if, if this is something that we've seen already on another Masters of the Universe figure or another um, WWE figure. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, but for some reason this feels new to me. I, I don't know if, if we've had this already. And it looks awesome. So one thing with this figure too is that you, if you want to like swap out all these accessories, you always have to constantly remove his head. Now I like him a lot better without the harness. The harness looks kind of like, I don't know, it looks kind of weird to me but i could i could live with this look this looks pretty awesome there's so, it's like i said before there's something about him that it reminds me of that indie wrestler warhorse and he's a really cool guy he's very intense and warhorse is actually a uh, action figure customizer also i think he's i think he's really into like uh, mcfarland spawn toys like even like the old like um older mcfarland toys from like way back in the day yeah, I, I I like this figure. I mean, there's some. I'm kind of it's like I said. I, I'm kind of mixed, you know. As soon as you like throw this weird harness on him and stuff, but I don't know. For me, you know, the first release of Ultimate Warrior was perfect. I don't know if I necessarily needed a you know a second one, but you know here we are. Excuse me. Um, I'm like losing my voice. Um. <coughs> Alright, so. Uh. Yeah, that. <clears throat> so there's something about this cape. As much as I like it, there's a weird fold in here. It's hard to see on the camera. This fold here kind of causes the cape to kind of protrude inward. So it doesn't fit flat on his back, which is kind of bothersome to me. So it always looks like he's going to be running. You know, this isn't the slave flat. So that might be an issue if you're like, a, you know, if you're displaying this on your shelf because it's going to like bump into other figures and uh, it doesn't, the head's not going to, it's harder to get the head um, punched into the neck. Because everything's kind of elevated with this longer hair. So for me, I'm probably better off just keeping the cape off. And just leaving the figure like this. But yeah, I like the cape a lot. This is great. Uh, let me see if I have another figure on hand. Alright, this is my <laughs> this is my He-Man figure. And if you've seen some of my videos before, I've been playing around with like swapping out hair. So you can remove the hair from like man. This is man at arms, and I took off I don't know his helmet and gave him He Man's hair because I thought it was funny. But let's try the, putting the cape on like this body. Yeah, there's so, oh man, I'm looking at this. There's and in terms of like customs, if I had more of these capes, there's so much you could do with it, and so many other kind of cool characters you could create. Uh, but going back to what I was talking about earlier about the flesh tones, like as you can see here, the flesh tones don't match, uh, which makes sense. You know, in real life, you know, Ultimate War is probably a very specific color, but you know, I can't necessarily swap, like, you know, this arm onto this body because it just look off because of the different colors. 
You know, even like with this man at arms, it, the head is a different color plastic than the body, so it doesn't really flow well. Okay, let's put you away. All right, so if I had to rate this figure on a scale of one to ten, uh, I, I I hate to say it, I'd probably just. All right, I'm a. I used to be a big warrior fan when I was a kid, um, and as I grew older, <laughs> not that I didn't hate him or anything like that, I, th I still thought he was pretty awesome. But I don't know, I was I was always kind of very lukewarm to him, you know, as I got older. Uh, for me, I was first introduced to the Ultimate Warrior when he was the Dingo Warrior in World Class Wrestling, and then um, I saw him again very briefly, I think, in the UWF when he was teaming up with Sting. And they were known as, I think they were the Blade Runners. And I forgot, I think one of them was called, one of them was called Rock. I forgot what the other one was called. But yeah, when he came to WWE when I was a kid, or WWF at the time, I thought it was kind of cool. Um, I remember him in WCW, and I was very fortunate. I got to see him reteam up with Sting at the United Center in Chicago for Nitro, and that was awesome. But yeah, I mean, in terms of rating this figure, um, um, my first impulse was to say a 7. Just because I'm not too keen on this version of the Ultimate Warrior. But at the same time, he comes with this really cool cape accessory. And then he has these cool boots. So yeah. Alright, so at the lowest, I'd give this guy a 7. At the highest, an 8. You know, so meet me in the middle, maybe 7.5, I don't know. But it's a cool figure, I like it a lot. Um, this it's just it's just not my favorite version of the Ultimate Warrior. You know, if I only if I only had one Ultimate Warrior from this figure line, I'd probably just go with the first release. But this isn't bad. But this cape is super cool. I'm really digging this. Uh, so let's wrap this video up. Um, once again, my name is Lou. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber or viewer, uh, thanks for all your support and comments and likes. I greatly appreciate it. Oh man, um, not much else to say. Go out and buy some toys. Uh, if you happen to run into this guy, you know, pick him up anyways, even if you're not too keen on the Ultimate Warrior. Mattel's going to be ending this line of action figures soon, so, you know, get them while they're hot now, because if you don't, um, you know, the price on these are just going to, like, just skyrocket in the future. So, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you soon. Later.